told you uh, back in March, I'm going to demonstrate how to plow uh, the correct way. Now, I've got my old 1981 tractor out here hooked up. Let me show you my bottom first. I'm going to be plowing. Um, it's uh, <clears throat> the bottom, as you can see, uh, it's it's slanted like this a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I can plow it with a slant like that, a slant like this, a slant like that. <clears throat> now this year, <clears throat> my bottom is planted like slanted like this a little bit. Hope you can see it by the video, by the camera there. So I don't want my if I plow it again. <clears throat> if I start up our plowing to come down this way, it's going to be still being like this it's gonna be steeper so I want to plow it where it be straight right now it's planted to the, toward the tractor and it's at an angle so I want to plow it I want to push the dirt over on this side as I go up I'll make one third and come back another third I'm gonna push the dirt over on this side which will make it more leveler so next year I'll plow it reverse and I'll fold the dirt over on that side and then I make it uh, keep it level. Keep it level as I got it. I've got it really level, pretty much level. One more time this year and it'll be pretty straight. <coughs> now <coughs> next thing on setting the tractors, um, you want to set these tractor blades. Uh, I'm going to let these blades down, okay, now you can see both blades are down on the ground equally, the both, both of these edges are down equal on the ground. Now this is set as off here, offset, <clears throat> whereas I try to make my first fur down through here. I'm going to come back, put my tires in the ditch, and I'm going to have to reset these plows. <clears throat> Another thing, these are country line universal tractor plows. So when I put these plows on um, years ago, you can see where the top had to scoot the whole plows over this way. Because this is what they used to be out to right here, as far as I could. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> you got to leave a little play in this, a little swing in the tractor blade, a little swing in that. If you leave a little swing in it, <clears throat> then <clears throat> the, tr the plows will follow your tractor. You want the right, first right plow here to throw dirt where this tire right here is at. I want this plow to fold dirt on when I put it. So this end of this dirt's going to fall over to here where this tractor, where this tire is at. <clears throat> now this is 16 inch and 16 inch. That's 16 inches wide, which both of them would be 32 inches wide. So I make one trip down. That's 32 inches uh, I have plowed instead of um, now the depth that's not the depth the depth is how long is how much I want to plow it down uh, if I want to plow it down <coughs> the deeper I plow it <coughs> it's according to the <coughs> I ship my lever right here a down lever up and down <coughs> now <coughs> Another important thing that you need to you be reminded of, <clears throat> your topsoil is um, six to eight inches deep. If you plow 12 inches deep, you're putting bad soil, mixed, you're mixing bad soil in with your good soil. That's not good. You don't want to do that. I had a friend down the road here that I plowed every year for him and one year he got somebody. I never did charge him or anything. He just got somebody. And I was sick, or for whatever reason, I didn't get to him. And I was going to do it when I got down there. He had done the guy put it about, I don't know, 15, 16 inches deep. And 
the bad dirt was mixed in with his good dirt and uh, he's like I burnt my garden <laughs> I don't know what he can do except just keep on mixing it up but you don't want to plow over six to eight inches deep that's why first you want to plow now I've got it set up the tractor right now set up to go okay it's up right now to go one fur and I'll make one fur all the way down to the end and I'll be right back to so get it made Now, as I made one fur, I made a, a crook in the path up there. You don't want to do that, but since I have a slack in my chain, I can do that. Since I got some slack in my chain, I can do that. Not much, but a little bit, very slowly. Um, I usually just like to go straight and stop, but, I, but um, let me, I wanted to demonstrate how to do this. Now, as you can see, my right my right blade is right on the ground. My left blade is, excuse me, my left blade is uh, four inches or five inches above the ground. So both, uh, both, both plows, both blades need to be level. If I plow like this again, this thing is going to go down, I don't know, 12 inches deep or whatever. This is going to go down four inches deep. So, what I got to do is I've got to adjust the plows to where they'll be down the same, the same level. And by doing that, you got to turn this adjustment. Both plows are going to be down on the ground at the same time what you gotta go for. You gotta get these level. Sometimes it takes a long time to turn them up get them level up they're really hard to turn sometimes I'm raising this I'm raising this plow up that's which is putting that one down and 
this is a must do. Or you will not get your garden plowed, you will not get your field plowed up correct. Okay, let's see where we at here. Almost there. We just about got it here. Are oh, you sent some air on this bottom? Huh? Okay, there they are. Notice tip of the edge is on the ground. Tip of this edge is on the ground. Notice this strip here has got to be level with the ground. It can't be tilted up. You got to keep it level with the ground. Both of them a little off the ground, and I'll go make another fur. <clears throat> and what we're doing here is both furs is going to be six inches deep. When you first start off, I, I realize it's not six inches, but it will be six inches as I go on up through there. So let me bring it up a little bit, and here we go. So you notice, you notice uh, when you if you when you adjust your plows, you tra um, when you make your first fur, you notice how the tractor is sitting side, sitting like this. The tires are in the it's just why, because the tires are in a uh, about an eight inch ditch. <clears throat> so starting off with, I had the plows, the bottoms of the plows lit equally, and when I made the first fur, it's like this. So I had to raise my plows back up to make them level again. So from now on, instead of, I'm going to play these, uh, I guess, whatever this is, two or three acres here. This is going to take me a, quite a while because I, I can only make um, 32 inches to go. So that's how you adjust your plows is be sure that you have the both ends down see how that back wheel is down in the ground there in the ditch this plow this plow has to be the same way these plows has got to be both this if you don't adjust your plow you make your first fur this back plow here is going to be high up off the ground four five or six inches and this one's going to be way down in the ground so and remember i'm making them i'm pushing the I'm pushing the dirt over this way. Dirt's over this way. I'm gonna go all through there, pushing the dirt over this way. I'm gonna go up, 
bring my plows, bring my plows up, drive back, putting it, get in the ditch, I push all my dirt back that way because I want to keep my bottom level. I could go through the middle, go back and forth and have a big ditch, have a big ditch in the middle, or I could go this way, plow this way and come back on this side and have a big, in the, in the middle of it, have a big uh, hip, heap in the middle. <laughs> I know one guy, bless his heart, he's got a, a lot of acreage and he hired a tobacco farmer for years to do his tobacco and actually sold his tobacco out. He said he's he got a big tractor. This is an 81 model, 1050, which pulled 260 in his plows easily, but and he's got a big tractor. It's twice as big as that. Two got two or three. And he said, he told me he actually got stuck in the middle. He, the guy had plowed back and forth so many times. And the guy was the tobacco farmer for 20 or 30 years. I don't understand that. Thank you. My God gave me this old 81 tractor and it goes, it runs, runs beautiful. It just goes good. And I love my Lord. Hallelujah. All right. Bye for now. Make a few pointers. I've got uh, my garden out here uh, uh, cultivated, got it disted real good and ready for my plants. Today is May the 10th, I believe. This is my 1981 John Deere tractor that I've had for five billion years. Works great. <clears throat> I wanted to <clears throat> talk to you just a little tiny bit <clears throat> about uh, dist. Um, let me get under here and show you. These are the L-shaped dist, and they do an excellent job. I'm not saying that the other ones don't, but I like these. Uh, two, two things you need, you need to know about a disc, <coughs> and that is, uh, you want the disc to be level with the ground. You don't want the disc like this, or you don't want the disc like this. You don't want the disc like that. <coughs> if you have your disc. If you have a disc like this, then it's going to, this is going to go down deep in the ground right here. And this is not going to go on the ground, this is going to ground, go on the ground 6 or 8 inches according to your setting. This is going to go on the ground 3 or 4 inches. So you want them to go, both go on the ground 6 to 8 inches wherever your setting is. And the way to do that is you have your disc level. You have it level. This across through here, this is going to be level across through there. <clears throat> um, and also, um, you don't want your disc going up or down like that. <clears throat> if you got your disc pointed uh, upward like this, then it's actually it's tr it's not it's actually pushing up on this back tire upwards. If you have your disc <coughs> the other way, then it's pushing your front tire 
upwards. So you got you want you to, it is to be level. You want it to be level, both up and down. You want it to be level with the ground, and also the tilt is correct. <coughs> the way you do the, the tilt is you simply I put it on. I put my disc on a, a level spot, and you just simply turn your let let your left and handle here till you get them level. Raise it up and down a few times till you get them up to level. And the way you get it, the way you get you this level, level, is turning by turning your, your leveling bar right here. You just simply turn that and get, get you this level before you start out. <coughs> and your garden will come out beautiful. <coughs> I made this just like a lettuce bed. It is so good. See how beautiful that is? I mean, it is awesome. Now this is our this is our garden. The watermelon patch is three times this big or maybe four. Right now.